Now, I have a, a friend of mine who's also a distant in-law, and every now and then, he's a little older gentleman, and every now and then, he's my father, he's my brother, no, he's my brother-in-law's father-in-law, if that makes any sense. Every now and then, he'll call me, and we'll talk a little bit about markets, and uh, he's a silver bug, and he's collected a lot of silver over his lifetime, and I find that kind of interesting, and anyway, so he does have a, an interest in markets, and I remember him saying a few years back, and he said it just a couple of days ago to me because he was calling me about an inflation theme, which I talked about, I think, in the stock chart show. If not, I'll bring it up next week. And we'll talk about it. And his, his observation is that markets top on high volatility. So I'm going to kill this bird with two stones, uh, <laughs> as the Cajuns say. Last week, I mentioned the my multiple volatility indicators, and all this is is just a bunch of HVs. And it's they named it Landry Volatility because they were doing the coding for me over at Stock Charts. But this is just historical volatility, so I don't get credit for creating this, but they did put Landry on it. And I like to plot multiple volatilities. This is in the ACP platform if you have Stock Charts. If you like this video, you'll get ACP for free. That's all you have to do. And last week I mentioned this casually, this multiple volatility indicators. And this is something that I'm noodling with to try to figure out when these ETFs are due to make a sizable move and I can get it on an intraday basis. Again, I'm here anyway, might as well capitalize on it if I can. But the thing that I was telling this gentleman is it may seem like they top on high volatility, but markets in general tend to top on low volatility. Now, the problem with trying to time off of that is it could stay low for a long, long, long time. And of course, we always use price, but you look at this and you see this big spike in volatility and you think, okay, well, it looks like a market did top on high volatility. Now, one thing, again, use price, but if memory serves, we've got a 10% a TFM 10% sell signal right around here. And if you look at the stock chart show I did yesterday, I talked a little bit about the TFM 10% system. And I also put up a post in Facebook of that chart a couple of days ago, same chart. So you can go in and look exactly when the sell signals were. But by the time we got that sell signal, you could see that volatility had already begun to take off and take off fairly significantly. So what I'm kind of backing into here is markets do top on low volatility, but maybe as my brother-in-law's father-in-law is pointing out, maybe that increase of volatility happens as the market is beginning to roll over. So maybe that's something we need to pay attention to. And I'm just kind of, and this is why I love teaching because I learn as I go. So maybe, Years ago, I had a pattern called the trend thrust. I don't know if it still works or not. It's been many years since I've even looked at it. But I'm trying to think, of, I can't even remember how it works. I think it was a three-day moving average or five-day moving average on the trend indicator, which uh, developed by uh, Dick Arms, which he's no longer with us. And he's uh, he was a great guy. I knew him personally. Uh, but anyway, through the AAPTA, you meet all these guys. Uh, anyway, great guy. But I was able to take his indicator many, many years ago and then use some sort of thrust indicator, like if it jumped so much, then that would give you a signal. It'd be fun to kind of dig out that, that system and see if it still works. If somebody's interested, we could find it somewhere. It might have been in Dave Landry on swing trading. I'll have to go in and find that. But anyway, along those lines, just thinking out loud here, as I'm seeing this, it's like seeing it for the first time, maybe these big thrust and volatility because look how tight they are here and then look at this big thrust up in volatility the delta maybe the delta can help predict predict price movement but of course as usual make sure you actually have the price movement too